and welcome everyone. I am the voice of You're here to witness the journey of three heroes in an attempt to stop being absent and to become present. They have been traveling around the world. They have asked questions, doubted my answers. They have been reading books. They have gone back and forth, not realizing the simplest truth of existence. You are here to help them on this journey. Please do not look down on them. If they make faults of themselves, You might find yourselves wondering too why you cannot just see what is standing in front of you. It says here that um, <clears throat> eternalism is a philosophical approach to the ontological nature of time, which takes the view that all moments in time are equally real, as opposed to the presentist idea that only the present is real. Being present is undoubtedly the only way to enjoy life to the fullest. By being mindful, you enjoy your food more. You enjoy your family and your friends more. You enjoy anything. You enjoy more. <laughs> Even things are, are drudgery or boring. Can be amazing if you're truly present. Uh, we should try. We should try to cook or clean or sweep or while remaining fully present. I mean, it will take practice, but it's, it's incredible. Time flies over us, but leaves its shadow behind. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Another theory states that the present is a spotlight which moves back and forth between past and future, with us located in the centre of the spotlight but moving forward. Huh? Nothing is but what is now. Nothing, Nothing is, is but what, what is, is now. now. Ron Rush. Uh, who is he? I have an idea. If you want to conquer the anxiety of life, Living the moment, living the breath, and it's ready. Ah. Do not dwell in the past. No. Do not dream of the future. Sure. Instead, concentrate your mind on the present moment. Buddha. When someone leaves, it's because someone else is about to arrive, and I will find love again. Puedo. <laughs> Falling in love is risky. Quello. Do not ruin today by mourning tomorrow. Valente. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. Joan Rivers. Or, <laughs> or the turtle from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> when you beat a drum, you create now. When silence makes a sound so enormous and alive, <coughs> it feels like you are breathing in the clouds 
and sky, and your <coughs> heart is the rain and the thunder, Ozeki. Today's special moments are tomorrow's memories, Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to reach the top of the mountain. The hills are alive to enjoy the, the view. sound of music. Oh, there is the only now and look how rich we are in it. Van Abonte. The future depends on what we do today. Gandhi! I am glad that at least I think I'm glad. We need a pool. <laughs> what? Words, <coughs> words. You have come across so many philosophies, ideas, quotes, even jokes. But you're still not there. Instead of trying to copy what others think, about presence, think about when you are present. I feel present when I play music. I mean, I can't play music, but if I did, I'd be really present. <laughs> I feel present when I inhale the very first cigarette of the day. I feel present when I fall in love. The moment I meet his eyes, look into them, and can't look away. Oh, I feel present when out of the blue I go like, ow! You know when I step on something sharp or cut my finger on a kind of tuna, for instance. In such situations, I'm absolutely present, though not for very long. And still. when I'm not in love, I feel absent. I feel that I'm just waiting to be present again. And the wait is unbearable. Oh, I also feel I'm present when I go to the toilet. I mean, there's only one thing to do. It's just me and the toilet, and I'm totally focused on that. Especially when there's writing on the wall. It says things like, George did Anna here. Well, I'll have to try that. Yeah. You know what? I feel present the moment that I fall out of love. You know, the moment when clarity strikes me, and it's just a formal matter of communicating it. I also feel present when I'm dancing. You know, <laughs> and people, well, I hope they notice my dancing and are impressed by it. Yeah, like this. I feel present when I'm dancing in a club with someone. And we get closer and closer. And I can see myself reflected in them. And they can see themselves reflected in me. And we are really there in an electric way so everything around us dissolves. I feel absent when I'm dancing in a club and other people are getting closer and closer watching themselves reflected in each other. So that everything, including me, dissolves around them. I, I feel <laughs> pre present when um, I engage with pop culture, yeah? Especially with film, you know? When it could be some afternoon on my own and I know I'm sharing the same reactions like the rest of the world. Like, well, it's a joke and we all laugh together, like... <laughs> <laughs> or there's a, a sad moment and we all go, oh no! Oh no! Yes. Like, <laughs> this, this is a way in which I feel present when I'm alone. Mm -hmm. And alone yet not alone, if that makes any sense. It takes, it, it takes me somewhere else. Another world. Another world where, where I am present. Yes. It, <laughs> and, then, and then I see a film. And I think, why can't my life be that exciting and glamorous? Yes. Like, I dream of becoming a nurse one day and save the life of the man I love. Except it's not that simple, because we are on a cruise ship, and we are about to crash into an iceberg, and to make matters even worse, there's an assassin there too, with a gun. And it's the end of the world, and there's a plague, yet it's also a kind of purely drama with lots of awkward sexual chemistry. <laughs> I feel like I could be present if my life was like that. I I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but being someone else is precisely what makes me feel present. Yes. For example, when I'm, when I'm acting, or when I'm holding a gun, when I'm wearing a wig, when it's just me on the stage, and the lights on me, and there's an audience in front of me, and there's music.
I'm not immune to comedy. I'll give you that. But you digress. You're so close. You even touch the essence of presence. Hmm. But you still didn't get it. I have an exercise for you. Stand next to each other and concentrate. Now turn your head left and right. What do you see? Uh, I don't know. I I'm going to the toilet. Are you aware we haven't paid any attention to the audience so far? Y yes, I know. I mean, they might think you're rude. Or this might be some sort of conceptual piece where we punish our audience. <laughs> no, I, I can sense them. I mean, it, it makes the hairs on my back stand on end. Yes, yeah, so can I. I. If I had peripheral vision, maybe I'd be able to see them, but unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> Are you sure they are here, or is it just our imagination? That is a good question. I mean, we expect them to be here. They are supposed to be here. So they are here. I also made many phone calls. How many do you think there are? I hope quite a lot. What if there are just a few, and they are really bored and would like to leave? Well, I mean, we're not watching, so they can leave if they want to. <laughs> if you want to leave, the, the door is on your right. <laughs> but I, I heard rustling. Coughing? A few little laughs? A foot shuffling? A few comments in a hushed voice? A little fart? <laughs> I wonder what they think of us. Yeah, I wonder too. It's easier if I don't look at them. But I think they think I have fat legs. <laughs> I'm sure all of them have fat legs too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you think they like me? I think they really like you, everyone does. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm, I'm sure they like you too. I think, you know what, I think they thought you were funny when you dropped the books. <laughs> I think they really liked you resuscitating me. <laughs> You're really good at that. <laughs> no, you are. Are you talking about you? me? You can't. What? No. Are you talking about me? No. no. You were. You were talking about me. I knew it. I was <coughs> on the toilet and my ears were burning. I could sense you talking about me in the other room. Not no. talking about you. Yeah. But you know what? I couldn't go to the toilet. I wasn't present on the toilet because you were talking about me and you were making me present in here. But not in a way that I liked and not in a way I had any control over. Well done. You tried really hard. That was a good effort. Okay. But you're not there yet. You're doing everything too fast without consciousness, without holding onto the truths that are presenting themselves. I have a clue for you. Now turn. Turn to the audience. Give them a wave. And say, Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Or oh, hi, as you just did. Hi again. Hi. Hi. <coughs> Meditate on this moment and then tell them one by one how you feel. How you feel right now. 
feel right now. Um, I don't know. Uh, we're in Battersea. It's like nine twenty. Uh, I'm I'm cold. I'm hungry. My bladder's full. Maybe you're hungry. Maybe your bladder's are full. Maybe we can all go and get something to eat and go to the toilet when this is over. Um. I, I'm really glad you are here. And you know what? Actually, it was oh, finally it was so nice to s turn around and and see so many warm faces. Fine. Okay. Uh, how do I feel? I'm thinking. I'm thinking about what I'm going to say. And I'm going to say it, and also I'm thinking about what do you think of me, and what you're going to say about me later, and also what you're going to say about him. Well, I am really glad you're here too. Actually, Actually, I really enjoy being on stage. I mean, we're, we're doing what we want <laughs> and having this amazing experience and sharing it with you. In fact, this is a dream of mine. Yeah, to do this. <laughs> like this. With you. This is what I want. Yes. And I'm really afraid that something is going to happen and I won't be able to do it to do what I want. We will miss out. I'm also thinking about uh, you know, the next time that I do this, and it's going to be so much better. Um, I'm going to speak better, I'm going to move better, and also, well, I'm sorry to say this, but next time I feel that the audience will be a little bit more engaged. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? This missing out is what scares me so much. Scares me as I serve people drinks in bars and, and clean up cigarette butts on the floor outside. With my body doing that and thinking that, all I want is to be here. And now I am here and it's so precious, but time is ticking away faster than I would like. And before I know it, I'll be back serving drinks and cleaning up cigarette butts and dreaming of being here. I can already feel the hope draining away from me. My thoughts going outside of this room onto the street, on the bus, moving away from here, and worrying about tomorrow, and the next tomorrow, and how long it will be before I'm here again, with you, like this. I'm really sorry. I've, I've got to go to the toilet. be the same for you. I mean, I mean the effort it takes to commit to coming here, I mean, and, and sitting through whatever this is. And then you, you are here. And you, you realize that time is ticking forward. And unlike a film that you can rewatch, being here is only now. And soon this will end. I mean, you, you will find yourself thinking about tomorrow, moving forward. This can never be repeated, even if we said the same lines exactly in the same order. What you, what we are experiencing right now is unique. And soon it will be something lost, something in the past. A sweet sadness or, or regret, maybe. And even if we came back, all of us, to this place... And, and sit as we are sitting right now. Our faces, our hair, our voices would show the traces of all the time lost in between. <laughs> I never expect to see you again. It's been a long time. Yes, ma'am. A lot of water under the bridge. Some of the old songs, Sam. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Home. Does he always leave so 
Or oh, he never. Well, he's got a girl up to the blue pad. Goes up there all the time. You used to be a much better liar, sir. Leave him alone, Miss Elsa. You bad luck to him. Play it once, Sam. For all time's sake. I don't know what you mean, Miss Elsa. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. Oh, I can't remember it, Miss Elsa. I'm a little rust element. I'll hum it for you. Sing it, Sam. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Just a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you. All that you can rely. I'm important because you talk about me when I'm away. Yeah. Okay? So I affect you even when I'm not here. So, does presence have to do with just being physically present? Shut up! <laughs> no. It's, it's like leaving behind a fossil or a print in history. Yeah. Or, no. is that or a ghost. Or a ghost. Or a ghost. Or a ghost. Yes. Or a ghost. ghost. Yes. Or a ghost. A ghost. A ghost. You know what? I'd, I'd like to <coughs> summon a ghost here and confront them in front of all of us. Who would you call? Huh? Yes. A serial killer? No. Okay. I'm a mafioso from the 60s. No. no. A terrorist? No. Okay. I don't know, a politician from no. who killed thousands of no, no, no. A tyrannical dictator who won't let anyone else speak or have fucking fun? Uh, yes, actually. Mrs. Crab. What the fuck is Mrs. Who is Mrs. Crab? Who is Mrs. Crab? Uh, Mrs. Crab is a heinous bitch. Uh, she was a teacher when I was 11. Okay, okay. What, what does she look like then? What does she look like? Yeah. Should we summon her from the bowels of hell? <laughs> Mrs. Crab, Mrs. Crab, Mrs. Crab, oh look here she is, materialising on this chair. It's been reserved for her. She's very light. <coughs> what does she look like, huh? Well, as you can see, she's got grey hair like an old scouring brush, uh, tiny yellow disintegrating teeth, her mouth is turned down at the sides, like she's sucking on sour assholes, oh. and um, she smells of cabbage. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Crab. How, how did she respond? How did she respond? She looked at you like you were a piece of shit that she found on the bottom of her orthopedic slipper. <laughs> That's not very nice, Mrs. Crab. <laughs> no, it isn't, Mrs. Crab. So, Mrs. Crab, now you have this opportunity of an audience in front of you. Is there anything you would like to say? Sp speak up. She wants to tell me a secret. She said, <coughs> verbatim, she said, the reason I was such a bitch 
to you when I was, when I was 11 was because she was secretly in love with me. And she said she wanted to tell me this and also that I'm very handsome and sexy and charismatic and uh, I have a huge, enormous, elongated, engorged, massive... Ego. I'm not immune to communing with the dead. I spend a lot of time with them myself. Anyway, I digress. Where were we? Oh, yes. Seize the day. Gather ye rose, but while ye may. Why does the writer use these lines? Because he's in a hurry. No. Ding. Thank you for playing anyway. Because we are food for worms, lads. Because believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing, turn cold, and die. I'd like you to step forward over here and peruse some of the faces from the past. You've walked past them many times. I don't think you've really looked at them. They're not that different from you, are they? Same haircuts, full of hormones, just like you. Invincible, just like you feel. The world is their oyster. They believe they're destined for great things, just like many of you. Their eyes are full of hope, just like you. Did they wait till it was too late to make from their lives even one iota of what they were capable? Because you see, gentlemen, these boys are now fertilizing daffodils. But if you listen real close, you can hear them whisper their legacy to you. Go on, lean in. Listen, you hear it? Do I exist? Yes. Yeah. Can you see me? So how do you know that I am present? We, we can hear you. Not so. I will be silent. Did I stop existing when you couldn't hear me? How was I present? What do you mean, you present? When I'm gone, which will happen in just a moment, will I still be here? Yes. Mm. When you leave, which will be right now. You will still be present for these people in front of you. And they will be present for you. Take one last look. I'm turning off the light now. 